So, we are here, and we have something a bit different to discuss today. We're going to be looking at FC25 leaks, rumors, that sort of stuff. We're going to be discussing them, and my thoughts, because again, I play this game, I've played this game since FIFA 17, properly. Before that, it was more of a career mode sort of thing. Didn't have internet back in those days. But, yeah, the, the main thing is that, obviously, FC25 is coming. We're going to start with this post here again. This is our main source, FGZ. So, it says, New 5v5 mode with Volta Inspiration. Not against it, if it works out. Again, we'll have to see gameplay and stuff to learn more. Managers with preset custom tactics, not a fan. I think managers should have something attached to them to make them special, make them seem a bit more important. That's not the answer, because no one will want to play with certain managers, because everyone will find the meta, and that's always what happens. New corner system seems like a W, based on what I've seen and what we've all seen about it. You just get to pick where the players are instead of randomly having them spread out in the areas. The corridor, pack opening is whatever, the player instructions, in-game changes, again, is not really something we can discuss at the moment. Squad menu revamp, again, not really important. Manual through balls, and then certain fullbacks can become false backs or mids. So I just don't understand a few of those, and we'll have to see what it all means at a later date. But we're going to come to some of these new things. No cross-market between PC and console. Thank God for that. So... Division Rivals is getting a revamp, which, again, I am not sure I'm a fan of. Yes, there is a case for Division Rivals not being very good in FC24, but I don't think reverting to the points-based system is the answer, especially if it's a previous iteration. Like, I think in FIFA 19, FIFA 20 maybe, I'm not sure, we had points, where you would get a certain amount of points for wins, losses, draws, that sort of stuff. The amount of goals that you scored, and you would get rewards based on your rank. I think it was five ranks for every division, and you'd be promoted based on, I think, skill rating. Not a fan of that. I do like the current system that exists for rivals in terms of promotion. Relegation needs to come back. People need to actually be punished for losing too many games, or they need to find their, their level. But, yeah, the points-based system, not really a fan. I hope that they elaborate, and it makes it a bit easier closer to time. I expect all the info will come out in about September, because they like making us wait for Ultimate Team news. So, yeah, it is a pretty big deal, at least according to this. But, this 5v5 is whatever. And then there's a new Rush game mode as well. 4v4 with an AI goalkeeper online, pro clubs and foot combined. Each player chooses their foot card and earn rewards for both. Combined season pass also can earn XP. Again, I'll be very skeptical at the moment. And then the beta. We're in 2024. Why are we having a closed beta? It's actually better if you have an open beta. So I really don't understand the need to have a closed beta in 2024. EA Game Changers are getting the beta early. Like and subscribe so you can make me into an EA Game Changer so I can test the beta and tell you how it is. Duplicate Storage is coming back again. This is a W. This is a W. 100 players does make things a bit easier when it comes to SBCs and exchanges and, and such. I think that's good. Yap Stam as an icon, as a hero, should be good. The trailer should be coming soon as well, so we'll react to that. And then, yeah, I don't think there's much else here in terms of things. So, some ambassadors. You've got a few interesting ones. Buffon, you know, is there. So, Buffon is confirmed. Eden Hazard is also rumoured for testing, as is a few others. But, yeah, FGZ, Zlatan is also being tested. but. Yeah, there is a few tests and a few things. There's the designs, by the way. Some of these designs, I'm just not sold on the game at the moment. There's not a lot to say. And they'll be using the Frostbite engine, which I'm not, again, I'm not entirely sure. Because Hypermotion and Frostbite just doesn't seem to work compared to previous years. But the main takeaways is that I think they're trying to do a bit too much 
with constant change. There is necessity for change, but improve the thi improve the things that are already good and scrap the things that are already bad. Don't just change things just to say it's a marketing thing. They will do that. That's what they do. They go, new division rivals, and that'll be what happens. And it is a bit of a shame because as a player, whether you're a content creator, whether you're a casual, whether you're a hardcore, you don't want to be playing things that don't seem like they have any sort of, you know, they don't seem like they have any sort of love or care or anything like that. And EA are just doing things for the sake of doing it. But again, we'll come back to this when it is all said and done. Again, there's Hazard, by the way. There's Bale, I guess. He's being tested as well. But yeah, not, not much that can be said in regards to all this. Like and subscribe and give us a comment if you enjoy, if you dislike what's coming. I'm just really worried for FC24 and FC25. Catch you all in the next one.